Yeah, I guess it's been an interesting couple of days for the Model Y. I know I've been talking about it a lot lately, but there's just so much new information on it dropping because apparently production of the Model Y at Giga Shanghai has officially begun. Locals have been flying drone shots over the factory and been noticing a huge lineup of Model Ys currently covered to kind of conceal, given this is probably the first official batch. You know, it's no longer just a test unit. So we have seen quite a few of those driving around and Tesla has submitted them to the Chinese local governments to make sure they're all approved for mass production and all that. And it's kind of a deja vu moment in a few ways, because if you've been watching Giga Shanghai since last year, you'll know that this was around the exact same time that the Model 3 was starting to get mass produced from that factory. And actually around this time last year is when they had a little bit of a delivery celebration and handed off the first Model 3s made in China to their rightful owners. And it's yet to be seen if Tesla wants to do that with the Model Y as well. Well, maybe because Tesla factory is so busy and it's not like the first vehicle out of this facility. Now it's like the first Model Y out of this facility. They might not want to have a big celebration this time around, but if it's anything like last year, it should be actually Tesla employees getting the first Model Ys delivered to them. And given the factory is now completely operational, I think it's safe to say that we might see the initial first Model Y deliveries take place before the end of the year. We only got a couple of weeks to go and here we are. They're already lining up and filling up the parking lot with these things which means the factory is working and based on the videos people have posted that means they're operational and driving around. They might have a few last minute inspections to do to make sure that they're all driving properly but ultimately when Tesla said that deliveries would start for the Model Y in early 2021 this means they really did mean early because if they don't actually do it by the end of 2020 then they're definitely looking at the first week of January possibly the first day of January kind of depending on where Tesla as a publicly traded company company wants to decide to announce that Model Y deliveries have begun. On one hand, you know, they're trying to rush deliveries in Fremont right now because they're trying to hit their guidance of 500,000 vehicles delivered. Whereas on the other hand, they can count a lot of these deliveries towards next year's goal, which I think is going to be set for a million vehicles. And S&P is already expecting Tesla to deliver nearly 900,000 vehicles, which I think is a little generous. But given the amazing output capacity we have now at Fremont and Shanghai, those together can easily hit a million at max capacity and even though most factories probably aren't going to hit max capacity that's not even taking into consideration giga berlin going online in i think quarter two of next year and that means through q3 and q4 it's going to be even producing more model y's with the 4680 cells sadly no 4680 cells for china just yet but give them time they'll get there so if tesla wants to count the bulk of these vehicles produced at the end of 2020 towards next year's goal then they might hold off on official deliveries in until, you know, January 1st, and then they can say, all right, in the first quarter of 2021, we started Model Y deliveries in China, but at the same time, it might look good on the next earnings call to be able to say, in the last quarter, we delivered Model Ys built out of Shanghai ahead of schedule, which in my opinion is what I think they should do. You know, don't leave a bunch of Model Ys stranded in the parking lot. You know, make sure they're safe and the quality control on them is good and all that, but then get them out into consumers' hands. Let people drive them around. There's been a lot of people reserving Model Ys over there. The website has been accepting Model Y orders for a long time and the interesting thing is the Model Y lineup for China seems to be quite a bit different than the Model 3 lineup so in case you're wondering if the Model Y could end up cannibalizing the Model 3 it appears that the standard range plus variant in China which is around $38,000 is the most popular model and then they don't have a dual motor long range Model 3 they just have a single motor long range Model 3 which America doesn't even get but over in China they seem to be doing kind of the same lineup up as the United States. They're starting off with the dual motor long range Model Y, which is what we have in the US, and also the performance Model Y. So those are quite a bit more expensive in the US, of course, and also in China, considering they're selling single motor Model 3s with short and long range battery packs. So there should be a pretty sizable difference in price, close to $10,000 between whether you go with a Model 3 or Y. But either way, because Giga Shanghai is built with much more optimization than Fremont, that means means that the operating costs there, surprising no one, are much, much lower than the U.S. And quality control, if it's anything like the Model 3s coming out of China, should also be top-notch. And that means that the profit margins over there are also really, really good compared to the United States. So this is an absolute cash cow for Tesla moving forward. It's going to be a very profitable vehicle. And the crossover market in China is bigger than that of the United States. So that means there's a whole lot of pent-up demand, a really compelling product, and a whole lot of brand loyalty for Tesla. 
Tesla over in China. So this is great news. And now it's Shanghai operational for both the three and the Y. It's probably reasonable to assume by the end of next year, the Model Y will be outselling the Model 3 just based on both factories production capacity and the fact that Giga Berlin is only doing Model Ys unlike Shanghai. And Tesla's theory about the Model Y starting to outsell every other vehicle will probably come true. Not sure if we have many viewers over in Shanghai, but if you're watching, I hope you get your Model Y soon. Thank you all for tuning in and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.